the uh, original stories that I created around the figure, if I can uh, get the display to work. Um, this is a... Uh, me... Sounds like Kelsey's dog is there. <laughs> yes. Move the chair a little bit. So, okay. Uh, it's a little easy to see, I hope. So, um, this is a, uh, a story that I tell about a little crab. The crab has these pincers, right? That represents the crab. And the crab is being chased by an octopus, which I represent with the, uh, the moving fingers and get kids to guess that it's an octopus. So the crab is being chased and he runs along and he finds a cave and he goes ducking in the cave but he can't find any place to hide. So then he finds a second cave and he goes into the second cave, looks around, still no place to hide. Finally in the third cave he goes in and he sees a little pile of seaweed in one corner and another pile of seaweed in the other corner. So he gathers up all the seaweed and piled it on top of himself so he's well hidden. And then who comes along? And of course the kids. <laughs> and I say, good guess! But it wasn't the octopus, okay. it was the scissor fish. <laughs> and there really isn't a scissor fish. I made up the scissor fish for this story because I love the idea of the scissor fish who comes in and goes munch, munch, munch on all that seaweed and the little crab ends up sitting there all exposed and then who comes along <laughs> oh wow oh, oh man the octopus <laughs> comes along and the, the little crab has tried running and he tried hiding and he decides well the only thing I can do is see if I can scare him. So he jumps up and grabs one of the legs and the octopus runs away. Yay! Yay! <laughs> wow, a whole new genre. I would have made a fish beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, Fred. <laughs>